shut everything but the wolf and all of them say. But uh, if we're going to keep getting AP pictures out of there and stories out of there like they are, and if uh, uh, our best friends who are supposed to be uh, uh, allies of ours are going to take the position, they're going to foment it now. Gavin yeah, says, we face a big question in this country on stepping up this activity, especially moving ground troops in, which is now rumored division strength to undertake on the ground in North Vietnam, possibly what we're doing in the air. Any such plans with this administration must be thoroughly explored by the Congress. He said Johnson does not speak for himself, but operates instead through White House and Pentagon spokesmen. The people are not being informed, he says, about the Vietnam situation. Chavez and three other Republicans spoke on a radio committee said that uh, any large-scale U.S. troop commitments would require, quote, a new congressional debate and a new congressional resolution of sport, unquote, by President Johnson. So I think that's something you better devote some of your attentions to, and I think you also better talk to your military people when you're talking to Wheeler, say, now, can we, the President wants uh, some kind of plan and gives us some hope of victory, and I guess he'll go back to the bombings and talk to Dean and see if we ever. I can't see anything that they do but just laugh at us now. Don't you, men, and uh, you and I both have uh, made statements on this uh, Wilson mission telling him to go to hell. Yeah, well, that's true. And uh, no, no indication they want to talk now. I think Wilson will just screw up things more when he comes over here. We've got to let him. But he'll come over here and go everywhere else, but never get in there. I think that somehow or other we ought to condition his coming over here on acceptance that they'll see him over there, don't you? I doubt you can do that. Well, can we say to Bruce, now we're very anxious to work on this thing if you have any chance to see him at all. But if you don't, don't go over there and just make a big speech dividing our country. I don't see any good that's going to come talk to us. We've told him we're part. I don't think you can keep him out of here, and I don't think I'd try. I think I would try it when he's here to have him avoid uh, saying anything that would divide the country. I think we can accomplish that. But I don't think you can keep him out of here. I think it'd be a mistake to try. Well, if he's not going to get in there, what's served by his coming here? Well, avoid why, it. Why shouldn't his mission? Cable, the respective capitals for appointments before he undertakes them. And, uh, uh, he's got a blank check from us. We're willing to negotiate. He doesn't have to come here to find out. He'll probably be accepted in Moscow and probably not in Hanoi and Peking. That's right. It'd be awfully difficult, I think, for you to say, well, you can't come here unless you're going to be accepted in Hanoi and Peking. I don't think you can, we can we can ever say that you can't come. I think we can say, though, that we just hope that you stress the fact that they have accepted it. Let's hold that up for a few days to world inspection. Well, I think that's right. That we can do. And when he's here, I think that we can assume and expect him to act in a way that won't uh, cause controversy inside the country. But I, I think it would be wrong, Mr. President, to, to either try to or give him any reason I think you ought to, uh, you can't keep him out here. Nobody wants nobody wants to keep him out here. Uh, I don't think that's the point I want to make, but I do think that he ought to he ought to be the point ought to be made to him that his mission can't be successful if he can't get the other here, here and he ought to make that point well and long and he ought to consider whether whether any good's gonna be served by his traveling in the light of the fact they will not see him. Okay.